Hi everyone. Well, I, I'm here with my husband Aaron today. We, we'd like to address this whole Charlie Sheen thing. It's just a bunch of celebrity news. It's just some kind of a diversion, but nonetheless, I feel compelled to address it. Charlie Sheen was interviewed on ABC and he said a lot of really strange stuff. He lives with two women. He says he wins in his underwear before he's even had his coffee. Banging seven gram rocks of coke because that's how he rolls and he's winning. And then Alex Jones was invi invited on The View to give his opinion on whether Charlie Sheen was on drugs or crazy. And he really, you know, ticked off Barbara Walters in the interview. I did listen to the interview, but to be honest, at, at one point it just start, started to sound like a chicken coop to me. It just, it was just crazy. And then it just like descended into feathers flying everywhere. And I was like, okay, enough <laughs> is enough. So black up. Well, something weird is going on here part, for sure. Part of the the, the two tier system, you know, like now, now that they're being revealed like to such as an extent, so they have to move it up to the next level, and they get this guy Charlie Sheen, who like a couple of years ago came out with all composed. Uh, I have all serious questions about uh, what went on on 9/11. I'm not saying it was a conspiracy, but uh, some some of the, the questions weren't answered. And then now he comes out, he's a total nut job, and he's banging seven, seven Grand grand rocks, rocks. And, coke. and winning his underwear winning with his, his two underwear. goddesses. Yeah. And then they got Alex Jones on the View. So it's like, yeah, just what putting, are you, what just, are you doing, bringing Alex Jones into the mainstream? Yeah, they're just putting him more and more in the mainstream. So the, the, the people that are on the fence about like uh, whether or not there's conspiracies going on will see him and, and they'll go to him first. And yeah, it is very good publicity for Infowars.com to be and, mentioned and, on view. And they parked him right under the V too. That's symbolic. Vindictive, vociferous vilification of villains. Who really cares what Charlie Sheen is doing? Who cares if he wins his, in his underwear with a seven gram rock of coke up his butt? Yeah, but Who really cares? America's a tabloid society now, so. I know, but look, now we're talking about it even. I mean. Yeah. You know, <laughs> is he on drugs? Well, I thought he was at first, but then he passed a drug test. Is he crazy? Acts a little weird, but I don't think he's, you know, crazy, but it doesn't really matter what I think, and it doesn't really matter if he's crazy or on drugs. But then he said something strange. He said, he, he said he's a Vatican assassin. She said, where do these words come from? He says, I don't know, my grand wizard master. Okay, either he's just joking, but I don't know about that because ABC News... Everything's calculated. You know, it's possible he's that... He's already known to be, like, people talk, like, the anti-Jonesers that say that he hangs around with Sheen, uh, accuse him of being a Jesuit, and that's why they, they, they point exactly to Sheen, because they accuse him of being a Jesuit, so that he slips that out mm -hmm. to further, you know, div you know, divide, put division. And Alex Jones has been accused of being a Jesuit in the past. I don't know if he is or not, but it is very strange that, you know, Sheen would say Vatican assassin, he didn't say the word Jesuit, but, but we know what the Vatican assassin is. It's a Jesuit. The Jesuits are, it's not a, a religious organization. It's a military organization. It's the uh, army of the Pope, the Pope's army. And in fact, yeah. See, here's a book about the Jesuits by uh, Bill Hughes, and he'll explain everything about it. Quotation. The Jesuits are a military organization, not a religious order, like I just said. Uh, their chief is the general of an army, not the mere father, abbot of a monastery. And the aim of this organization is power. Power in its most despotic exercise. Absolute power, universal power, power to control the world by the volition of a single man. Jesuitism is the most absolute of despotisms and at the same time the greatest and most enormous of abuses. Yeah. See, the thing about Jesuits is that nobody knows who they are. They're trained in such a way that they just infiltrate absolutely everything and no one even knows that they're there. They're teachers, they're, you know, maybe news reporters, politicians, in the religious orders, uh, in absolutely every area of society. That's what they said when they formed... Like a secret army. When they formed the Illuminati, Adam Weishaupt, who was a Jesuit, he said that, well, we won't do it through means of war, we'll do it through means of deception. We'll, inf we'll infiltrate every, every uh, sector of society and we'll rise up to own it. Regarding Alex Jones, okay, I'm not making any pronouncements here. I don't need to tell you that people say Alex Jones is a Jesuit. I don't know if he's a Jesuit, but 
he may he may have a connection to the John Birch Society. This is from a rogue government, and. Uh, Here's what they say about the John Birch Society. John Birch Society is essentially a controlled opposition front group that was started by people tied in with globalist institutions, including the Council on Foreign Relations, the Federal Reserve, and, and the Internal Revenue Service. The late author and researcher Eustace Mullins, who was for the first to expose the fraud and criminal nature of the Federal Reserve, stated on several occasions that the John Birch Society was actually started by money from the Rockefeller family who, of course, have been major promoters of globalist ideologies. And the connection between Alex Jones and John Birch Society is not particularly strong or anything. It's just he says that he read this book called um, None Dare Call a Conspiracy, authored by Gary Allen, a spokesman for the John Birch Society. And apparently Alex Jones liked the book so much he read it twice. And he recommends it as a kind of primer on the New World Order. But it's written by a guy who's a spokesman for the John Birch Society, which was founded by the Rockefellers, who are bringing you the New World Order, so, hmm. Apparently, also, Alex had a neighbor who was on in the John Birch Society, and, and a couple of other things. Yeah. Well, if you'll notice, AJ's always steering you towards the bankers, and they're the ultimate enemy. He even does, a, like, a, a little sketch of who's at the top of the pyramid, and it's supposed to be the Rothschilds are at the top of the pyramid, but... They're the Vatican's bankers, and he never talks about the high priests that run the world. And religion runs runs the whole show. That's a that's essentially what's at the top of the pyramid. Well, the 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 Jesuits, okay, being the army of the Vatican, their war is on you know Catholicism. I mean, Christianity, Protestantism. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. So you know, which takes away the authority of the Catholic Church. Well, yeah, both of them. Yeah, it's just. Well, the whole New World Order scheme is to destroy religion and place their their uh, antichrist on the throne, and they have to do that by, de de of course, destroying religion. And guys like Alex Jones will never allude to Zionism or Christian. I mean, uh, uh, Ju um, Jesuits. Jesuits as being the culprits ever, ever, ever. He'll actually hang up the phone and slander the person that suggested such a thing. Okay, so I don't know if, you know, Alex Jones and um, Charlie Sheen are, are Jesuits, but why are we all talking about celebrity news? I mean, if there's ever a bigger diversion, I wouldn't know what it is. I mean, there's so much going on in the world right now. And, um... Yeah, we're, yeah, we're babbling about Charlie Sheen. And, and actually, you know, even all the stuff that's going on in the news... There's like layer upon layer of deception and lies all the time. So it's almost impossible to really keep up with what's going on. But you can basically rest assured that everything is a lie. And don't trust nobody. And if you're looking for leaders, you're probably just going to get, you know, misled and deceived. Yeah, so you have to think for yourself, for sure. Yeah, think for yourself. Don't, don't just follow anybody, you know, regardless of who it is. Because that's the way they can control you is if you don't think for yourself and you, you follow you know so don't follow anyone follow as in be a follower you know you could take their advice or you know participate in some things or whatever but once you start to look for leaders I think that's when you know the New World Order has opportunities to mislead you well thanks for listening to us and uh, we'll see you next time